All right, in the Shoot Like a Pro 2 webinar, we talked about white balance filters, and I'm going to show you how to use a white balance filter. First of all, the two white balance filters that we discussed in the webinar include the ProMaster white filter cap, and then also the Expo Disc white balance filter cap. Now the Expo Disc white balance filter cap has a little sturdier construction, a little more science to how it was developed. It has a nice uh, lanyard to be able to hang that around your neck as you're walking around uh, taking photography, which makes it very easy to carry. And it also comes with a protective case to keep your filter protected. As far as using the white balance filter caps, I'm going to be showing you how to use the caps on my Canon Rebel XSI and simply remove the lens cap from the lens and then to attach the expo disc you just press the cap at the end of your lens right into place and then to remove the expo disc white balance filter you simply just pull it off with the ProMaster white balance filter cap there are a couple of buttons that depress just like on your lens cap and all you need to do is just depress those buttons and place the filter right up against your lens and release the buttons and it's attached. And then to remove the ProMaster, simply depress those buttons and remove it just like you do your lens cap. Alright, now as far as actually taking and setting a custom white balance with the uh, filter cap, I'm going to go ahead and put the Expo Disc filter cap on the camera and then I'm going to show you the settings on how I use the Canon Rebel XSI to set my custom white balance. Okay, the first step is to turn the camera on. Once we have turned the camera on, we go to the menu by pressing the menu button in the upper left. We need to go to camera menu number two and notice that I have selected the custom white balance setting. Once I have selected that, I go ahead and press the set button in the middle of the arrow keys and it brings me to a blank screen. Now if I had a memory card in here, it would bring me to a screen with a picture. And then to set the white balance, all I need to do is press the picture taking button on the front of the camera and it will take a reading through the white balance filter cap. I press that all the way down and I come back to my standard screen for taking pictures. At that point the custom white balance has been set. Now the white balance button here will allow me to choose the preset option for custom and that would be the custom white balance that I had just selected. Uh, most cameras will default to the auto white balance setting or whichever preset you have been using. So you just scroll across here using the arrow keys to select the custom white balance and you press set. Now that I have the custom white balance option selected, you will notice that the icon on the back of my camera on the LCD display indicates that I am using the custom white balance which I have just set. Now that I have set my custom white balance, all I need to do is remember to remove the white balance filter cap and at this point I am ready to go ahead and shoot with my custom white balance. So let me show you again how simple that is. You take your custom white balance cap and you attach that to the camera you go to the menu, you go to custom white balance 2 and press set, you press the button like you're taking a picture and the custom white balance is already set. Just remember to select it as your uh, white balance uh, preset option. Then remove the white balance cap and you're ready to go. In a matter of seconds you too can be shooting with a custom white balance.